to next news. The Nigerian Stock Exchange said on Wednesday that a scientific and technical investigation has commenced into the alleged manipulation of the share price of African Petroleum PLC by Nova Finance and Securities Limited. AP said that Nova, acting on the instructions of Aliko Dangote, president of Dangote Group, had been manipulating its share price for weeks. The company, one of Nigeria's top four retailers, said the share price manipulation was linked to a dispute between Dangote and its chairman, Femi Otedola. Armed robbers on Wednesday attacked the convoy of the Delta State Commissioner of Police, Jacob Oshimoho, along a highway in Delta State, Nigeria. The incident occurred while the commissioner was returning from an official assignment in Abuja. According to security sources, there were casualties and police officers that were hit by the robber's bullets were rushed to an undisclosed hospital. The commissioner escaped unhurt. Two children on Wednesday were rescued from a suspected kidnapper in Jos, Plateau State, Nigeria. The state commissioner of police, Greg Ayanting, said the suspect, Yahaya Ibrahim, kidnapped the children, Ahmed Sani, age 6, and Adam Sani, age 4, and put them in a 50-kilogram bag. Ayang Ting explained that the police officers arrested the suspect while they were on patrol. An investigation into the incident, said to be the first in Plateau, is ongoing. Nigerian boxer Samuel Peter says he will use his strength and punching power to defeat America's Eddie Chambers in tomorrow's heavyweight bout, even though he will go into the fight in Los Angeles as the underdog. Most pundits are predicting that Chambers will outbox Peter and take the decision, but the 28-year-old Nigerian who lost his World Boxing Council heavyweight title to Vitaly Klitschko back in October insists he will take care of business tomorrow night. John Michael Obi has finally landed in South Africa after the brouhaha over his sickness that made him sit out Chelsea's match with Tottenham on Saturday. Many Nigerians already doubt Michael's sincerity in appearing for the national team. He will now be examined by the team's doctors to check his availability for Sunday's match against Mozambique. Chelsea's chief medical officer, Dr. Brian English, had written to inform the Nigerian Football Federation that Michael had been treated for a throat infection. The family of the late British actress Natasha Richardson has donated her organs to others fighting for their lives, according to media reports. Richardson, 45, died in a New York hospital last Wednesday, two days after falling and hitting her head during a private ski lesson at Canada's Mont Tremblant Resort. She was not wearing a helmet at the time. Thank you for watching Next News. For more information on these and other stories, please visit our website 234next.com. That's 234next.com.